What's up, YouTube? If you haven't heard yet, there's a brand new update that allows you to A-B test thumbnails. Essentially, you can now add three different thumbnails to a single video to see which design performs better. So today, we're going to teach you everything you need to know about how to test and compare YouTube thumbnails. Let's get into it. To start off, we're going to show you exactly how to use the new Test and Compare feature. You're going to want to make sure that you already have three thumbnail designs ready to go. So if you're looking for a quick way to design professional looking thumbnails in minutes, just head over to snappa.com and use our free customizable thumbnail templates for YouTube. Once you've created your three thumbnails, just head over to YouTube, click your profile icon in the top right corner, and select YouTube Studio. Now a great part about this update is that you can test and compare thumbnails for new video uploads and existing videos that have already been uploaded. To test and compare thumbnails on an existing video, click content in the menu on the left, then hover your mouse over the video that you want to test and click details. From there, just scroll down to the current thumbnail, click on the options button with the three dots and select test and compare. You can now drag and drop to upload your additional thumbnail designs and click done. After that, just make sure to click save in the top right corner to set your changes. Now the process is pretty much the exact same when you're uploading a new video. After you've dragged in the video file and filled out your title and description, you can scroll down to the thumbnail section and click test and compare to upload your three thumbnail designs. Then, just finish going through the regular upload process as you normally would. As you can see, it's super easy to use YouTube's new update to test and compare thumbnails. But let's discuss how this actually works and applies to your videos. Basically, YouTube will show your three different thumbnails evenly across your video's audience. Then after a few hours to a couple of weeks, YouTube will select a winning thumbnail that performs best based on watch time. You'll be able to view the thumbnail test results at any time, and you can also choose to stop the test if you wish. Once the test is finished, YouTube will set the winning thumbnail as the main thumbnail for your video. However, you can always manually select any of the three thumbnails to be your video's main thumbnail, whether it's based on the test results or personal preference. Also, if you're not satisfied with the results, you can run a brand new test with a new batch of thumbnail designs. Well, that pretty much wraps up today's video. So if you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.